Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to interface a 20 into 4 LCD that is JHD204A with a PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. So let's get started. This is the LCD I'm talking about. It has first row which has 20 columns, second row having 20 columns, third row having 20 columns and similarly a fourth row having 20 columns. So in total it is a 20 into 4 LCD. It has two ports, each port having 16 pins, 1 to 16 from left to right and they both do exactly the same thing. You can use any one port as you like. So let's get to the connections. This is our PIC16 FA77A microcontroller, 40 pin DIL version. It has 40 pins. And this is the LCD JHD204A we are talking about. So uh, to use this LCD we need to use these 16 pins. I am using the top port. It has 16 pins from left to right if you hold it like this. To adjust the contrast we will need a 3 pin variable resistor. It's a variable resistor having 10 kilo, kilo ohm values. It also has 3 pins named as 1, 2, 3. Now let's do the wiring. For wiring purpose, connect pin number 1 and 5 of the LCD with the pin number 1 of the variable resistor which then goes to the ground of the PIC. Then connect pin number 2 that is adjustable to the pin 3 of the LCD. Connect pin number 3 with the VCC that is give it 5 volt and that then send it to the VDD that is second pin of the LCD. So in this way variable resistor gets 5 volt and LCD gets a 5 volt. Now pin number 4 is the RS pin. You can use any available digital input output pin on PIC to use it. So I am using pin C0 for RS, C1 for enable, D4 data pin 4 to C2, C3 for data pin 5, D6 to D0 and D1 to D7. And apart from this pin number 15 and 16 are backlight power pins. You need to give 5 volt to this pin to turn on the backlight. So for that connect pin number 15 to the VCC give it 5 volt and 16 to the ground. In this way our backlight will turn on. Rest of the pins 7, 8, 9, 10 are, are empty pins because we are using 4 bit mode of this LCD. To use the 8 bit port mode you will need these data pins as well. But in this case you do not need them. So what I am going to do in this demonstration is that I am going to burn a code in the PIC which will send learning at the first row, microcontroller at the second, PIC 16 fa 7 interface at the third and gh 204 a 20 to 4 LCD on the 4th row. This will be displayed in the same manner then again it will start repeating and so on. It will keep on repeating. So let's get to the programming. So guys this is our micro C4 pick. Go to new project. Give your project a name. Like I gave it JHD. Pick 16 fa 7 a 20 MHz crystal is the one I am using. Then first of all you need to initialize LCD. Go to library manager there you select LCD INIT there in example you will see a 4 bit example initialization of 4 bit mode of LCD you just copy it and paste it here now see we had selected C0 for RS C0 then C1 for EN then for D7 we have D1 then we have D0 for D6 D1 D0 C3 and C2 as shown in the presentation you can use any available input output pins for these c0 again give the directions of c0 for rs c1 for en d7 d1 d0 and then we have c3 and c2 for d5 and d4 so our lcd is now initialized okay now initialize the lcd using the command in the one time loop lcd i and it bracket close give an initialization delay 1000 that is one second is enough in this way our LCD is initialized now this LCD has a cursor which we need to remove in this application for that purpose click on this LCD CMD command copy this LCD CMD clear now we do not need to clear the LCD we need to do that is remove the cursor to this go there you have a chart here of commands turn off cursor you need to give this command inside the bracket place it this will turn off the cursor. Give it an initialization delay. 200 will do fine. Okay. Now we need to clear the LCD for any random values in the first run. So we do that. LCD CMD LCD clear. This will clear the LCD again. Give some initialization delay. Our one time loop is now complete. Now we go to the forever loop like or repeating loop. Here we go. 
complete the brackets give it a proper shape okay now here first we need to print on screen lcd out learning we need to print learning on the first row as shown in the presentation copy this command lcd out here you go lcd out this is row first row and start writing from first column learning or give it capital learning okay learning and then after this it should take some time to display the second line give it like 400 millisecond of delay then write the second word as shown in the presentation was microcontroller again in capital write microcontroller this will be displayed on second row and start writing from column one and then on the third row we will display that is third row start writing from first column pix 16 f a double seven a interface now on the fourth row we will display the model of lcd that is j h j h d two zero four four a 20 into 4 LCD here you go so that is what we need to uh, give it for it is first row second row third row fourth column start running from first column now after displaying this the LCD must clear this command clears the LCD so that was in the one time loop now again whenever it will go again it will clear the LCD now let's go to the hardware demonstration see how our code works okay guys this is our hardware you can see this is jhd 204a lcd this is our pic 16 f double seven a connections are as shown in the presentation so let's burn our code first go there build the code then go to programmer pic 16 f double seven a select it jhd dot hex file then write it then you have to write this or click on this write button to write the code okay the program is being written as you can see it is being written well let it write up okay our program is written now it's gonna run you can see it is working as shown in the presentation you can see that it is displaying learning microcontroller pic 16 fa double seven a as you can see in the coding that was what we wanted learning microcontroller and then it should display the last first row second row third row fourth row and then it should clear the screen that is what is it doing right now so guys i hope you guys learned something from this video so have a nice day and goodbye until the next video so thank you for your time and have a nice day